Hello, I am Shoshana, and I am the person that's operating this new awesome vlog, Operation Nerdfighters. So, I got a question. Anyway, concerned about video games? Because I am. I love video games. I might not be good at game, but I love video games. Just one fact about myself to tell all you people that don't know me, which would be about millions of people. And I'm going to say a few more things about myself. My favorite color is green. My favorite food would have to be either A, pizza, or B, hummus on pizza. Now, that's just the basics. Through this set of videos, you shall learn more about me and more about our world. Or maybe you already know about me and know about our world. Well, either way, you'll enjoy watching these videos. So, let's just get to the topics. Today's topics are... Oh, why is there no drum roll that stinks? But anyway, today's topics are a few very interesting topics to you guys. Firstly, I'm going to have the first thoughts on day. And today, my thoughts are on haters. Which I'm pretty sure if you watch a ton of YouTube videos, you know all about haters. Because haters are just annoying. That is, unless you are a hater. Then if you are, don't take any of this stuff personally. Ah, water. So, anyway, my thoughts on haters. I hate them. You can probably tell that. But anyway, I need to explain a few reasons why I hate haters and why you should too. If you're going to think that there's a reason to, besides there aren't being annoying. Haters, hate the wrong things. So let's say you're watching an awesome video. Such as maybe SciShow, or Crash Course, or Hank Games being a few channels that I suggest that you subscribe to. Just look them up. Because I don't know how to link things yet. But anyway. Let's say you're watching an awesome video. It's really cool. And you love it. And then you look through the comments after you watch the video. And haters have been commenting. This happens to me just about every day. And seriously, it is very... What's the word I'm looking for? Annoying! But anyway. You see a cater commenting, and you just get so upset that you want to kill them and punch them in the face or something like that. Well, that's pretty much how haters work. That's why I say, keep your pity to yourself, haters. We don't want your pity in here. Whether it's what you think or not. And also, sometimes, if you, I don't know, like, on YouTube how you can respond to a video sometimes when you do that they take it a bit too personally well that just happened to me a few days ago bringing up another interesting topic CRTs the dread of every student in the world um, not the world America so here's the story I was watching this cool video it was a song and a hater commented. It was an educational video, as you may suspect by the fact that I watch SciShow or Crash Course. But anyway, I replied back to this guy and I used something about the CRT in it and well, he replied back to me and said that I'm stupid, the guy doing the video was stupid, and that I was going to fail a CRT. 
If you're friends with me on um, Google Plus, you may have heard this. So, then a shout out to all those people on Google Plus. Comments down here, the comments. If you are on Google Plus, because Google Plus is awesome. So, anyway, this actually happened not very long ago. It was when I was taking the CRTs. And it was getting me so worked up. I want to punch that guy in the face. That's another reason why you can hate haters. They take things personally. Even when you just mean it as a very small insult. Because they're insulting something awesome. So, that's about haters. Now, I think I'm going to mention some stuff about CRTs. Never think that you're gonna pa that you're gonna fail. Cause even if you feel as if you've done horribly, it's always gonna end up as you doing good. Actually, a friend just told me this not very long ago. Not only on Google Plus but on Facebook. And you know, on the subject of CRTs, they're not really that hard depending on how good a teacher you have. Now, another friend of mine, she goes to a school, and her teacher is super, super mean, as an evil mean. Uh, I think it was at um, Chabad, it was somewhere in Las Vegas, I don't know. But anyway, if you had a teacher like her, I doubt you'd pass, considering that your teacher would be practically so evil that she would have to burn, that she feels as if she has to burn her clothes whenever she touches pre-K. But no, if you have a really good teacher, a nice one, even if you feel as if you're not going to pass, don't worry. Everyone's been there. You are going to do great. I assume. Unless you have a horrible teacher. <clears throat> so, yeah, um, this will be the end of the video. I'm going to be a bit mean to you guys, those of you that have an account on YouTube. Sorry. But, um, if you want to see the next episode of Operation Nerd Fighters, you're going to have to subscribe. Because for the first part, for the first few months of this video, I ain't going to be doing anything like routine every Tuesday or Thursday. I'm going to mix it up a bit. Post whatever I want. So, yeah. Sorry. I don't mean to be mean about this, but subscribe if you want to see it in the next episode. And also, a few advertisements. Well, actually, just one this time. If you <clears throat> are looking for some awesome bows, decorative duct tape, or wallets, you just need to look up this page on Facebook. It is called Girl D Bows Inc. Just look up the page. Actually, I think I'll put the link in the doobly-doo, which, aka, description, if you're a nerd fighter. <coughs> Excuse me. And that will be all for this video. So I say unto you in the words of Hank and John Green, don't forget to be awesome. Goodbye.